Good morning guys, we are in Lithuania in the little quiet town of Tarogne and this morning we've got up nice and early and we've come out to the forest, I've got my beautiful basket and we're going mushroom foraging. I've never done that before, I'm really excited. Kind of nervous because I've got no idea what edible mushrooms look like and what poisonous hallucinogenic mushrooms look like as well but we've got Ida's uh, two brothers here and hopefully they're going to know a little bit more about what they look like. Um, yeah, I'm going to go have a hunt and hopefully find something for breakfast. So we're looking for one specific type of mushroom and it's like the, the famous Lithuanian one called a Baravikas. I have no idea what it is in English. It looks like a porcini, but it's one of these. I don't know if you can see that properly. So quite a fat little shiny mushroom. Just keep an eye out. Oh Jesus, look at these. Apparently these red ones make you hallucinate and then die. So I think we'll leave them here. So we're, we're struggling a bit because it's, as you can see, it's uh, it's very, very dry. The mushrooms need a little bit of moisture before they grow. So we're thinking maybe, maybe we're going to go to a different spot. There's apparently this really good spot where they always find loads and loads of mushrooms. Um, we're finding a lot of there's there's a surprising amount of mushrooms around, but lots of deadly poisonous ones. And we're not we're not finding any of the edible ones, but whereas normally they're quite plentiful, so we're going to try a new spot. We've come to a much, much bigger forest, so we've driven like 10 kilometers out of a town now, and really deep into this forest, and it's absolutely huge. We've had to mark on our maps where the car is, on this dirt track just in case we get lost and yeah we can't find it. So apparently there's another type of mushroom we need to be looking for which is this one which I need to translate it but it looks to me like a girol which is one of the most expensive French mushrooms so well not French but you know mushrooms they have in France too. So we are here on the map and yeah you can just see completely surrounded by forest there's nothing else. <laughs> there's a little lake so we're going to go towards the lake and we're going to see what we can find. This one is already seeming more promising. It's, it's a much denser, thicker forest and the, the floor is much more mossy and, and moist and wet. So that should be better conditions for mushrooms. I think we might have found some Gerolles. We're gonna pick them and we'll take them back and show Ida's brothers and uh, see if we found something edible or poisonous. But look at these guys, aren't they beautiful? There's so many of these other little mushrooms around. Need to get rid of those. But yeah, I think that might be them. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at them. You can't get any fresher than that. That'll make a good breakfast. Fried in a bit of butter on toast. Okay, let's go and see what else we can find. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but there are woodpeckers. I think we found a, what was it called, Ed? Baravikas. Baravikas. It looks like one. It's a little bit eaten, but it's our first one. Look at him. Beautiful. I'm gonna take him. Oh. 
this forest is incredible. There are so many mushrooms around. Like everywhere you look, there's just mushrooms. Most of them aren't the ones we're looking for, but it's just amazing how many there are. It's, it's so luscious. I mean, the floor is covered in this really, <clears throat> really dense, thick moss, and it's really moist and, yeah, incredible forest. Absolutely beautiful. Oh God, these look really poisonous. <laughs> look at those ones. There's quite a lot of these around, but they look deadly. There's amazing bird sounds around, and we've just found the lake, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's early morning, and it's just dead still. Look at that. Found a huge ant hill. Look at that. Crawling with ants. Alright, we're back of the car with Pierre the Frenchman. <laughs> and look what he found. This is our basket, I don't know. A couple this of little Giraud. But Pierre, with his French hat, has got all of these. Hold on. Well, one more, I mean. <laughs> About this, I'm not, I'm not sure, don't know. Oh, that, yeah, that looks like one. What's that one? The big one is the ones that we found, I think. You've got loads of the drawers, that's fantastic. That's really good. Really expensive ones. <laughs> you know, in, uh, in London, you can buy those in the market, and they are. 50 pounds per kilo, 60 euros per kilo. So it turns out the small brown ones that we were collecting were nothing special. They weren't, they weren't poisonous, but they weren't really tasty or edible. But this is what we should have been looking for. I just rather found this one. Beautiful. It's not so earthy, but the difference is the bottom is like a spongy, spongy sort of texture, the gills, whereas ours were like fluffy, see. So. That's what we should have been looking for. But luckily they did much better than us. So we've got we've got loads of mushrooms. Yeah, Take it to the boot Aye. Okay. I eat raw mushrooms. <laughs> because I'm a Frenchman. <laughs> Alright, we've got a good haul. I'm really impressed. First mushroom picking experience and we've we've done well, so time to go home and eat them. So we've cooked the Giroles up into big mushroom omelette. Try and get some. Wow, that's looking nice. Got nice bits of butter melting on top as well. Right, eating my first ever hand harvested mushroom. Cheers guys. Cheers. Mm. So earthy. That's so nice. It's so special to eat something that you've gone out to the forest and found and cleaned and prepared and harvested yourself. Yeah, that's amazing. And Giroles as well. So we were we were thinking when we when we picked them we actually had quite a big basket at the end just of these Giroles. And in Borough Market, where we live back in London, it's fifty pounds per kilo for these guys, so I mean, the amount we collected in an hour would have been like 25, 30 quid. Crazy. That was a great morning. It was my first ever mushroom picking experience. We didn't get that many, but enough to make a really good lunch. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that button. We've got a lot more videos coming in Lithuania and other cool countries. And please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. Thanks for watching.